All right. We are live. Welcome. Welcome to a Saturday stream. It do be Saturday. Ah, oh, all right. So today we are going to be... Oh, I need to reopen World Painter. I was just adding a bunch of brushes to it. Or specifically today. And there we go. Um, yeah, I I got a few plans as to what I want to try and see. I, I just want to kind of test some stuff. I want to see... How it looks um because i've i've found a few hype maps obviously one of them has been out a while and the other one has obviously also been out a very very long time but i don't think many people know about them so i'm gonna i'm gonna just uh i'm gonna use them and then i'm gonna try to find some more if i can um but yeah we'll get there uh before that as per usual let's Look at the few builds that have been posted since yesterday. What is it? It's, yeah, we saw that one. So five or six builds here. Not that many. Wait, no, six, seven builds. Okay. <laughs> um, nice. A nice little city silhouette thing going on here. I wonder if that has any interiors in the city. Um, interesting. Ooh, uh, quite the tower here. Okay. Kind of looks like um, almost like a, a magical place, you know. Um, yeah, it definitely looks very video game esque, like not Minecraft video, you know, like like a a tower you'd find in some sort of magical side quest kind of thing in a that kind of game. Ooh, very nice details. I really like the power lines. Ooh, I like the, the rails being used for that under there. That's nice. Pistons for the windows. Fantastic. A lot of, a lot of fun details in that one for sure. Ooh. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, they even got a small version of it. That's awesome. This kind of looks like... um Looks familiar. These ships, for some reason, those red sails look very familiar to me. I don't know what what from, but they very much look familiar. Ooh, some nice concept trees. Nice. I like these. Oh man. Okay, hold up. We got some trees. I gotta like and retweet this. This is fantastic. Look at these. Ooh, really like the that warped hyphae or whatever hyphae. Um. Nice. I really like the the glass ones the best, actually. I think these are the the, the best for sure. Cause these could these could be made to be 3D and look still really good. Um I will say if you looked at any of these trees from the side or like from the, the front over here, yeah, you'd probably look pretty flat. Um But that's not to say you couldn't just, you know, replicate some of these techniques in other angles. And fix that problem pretty easily. I like this. Fantastic. Good trees. Um nice. Not sure what this is. What do we look what am I looking at? 1v1 map box fight. What is a box fight? I don't <laughs> I'm so out of the loop. No idea what that means. Um Wow. Star Wars Cantina for the win. This looks straight up like the Star Wars Cantina. I feel like they did that on purpose, but like, wow. Oh, 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 stop it. <laughs> straight up though, this looks like the Star Wars Cantina. Like that, that little like middle section thing, all the little booths and stuff, just the wildness of it. All they need is like a stage for the, the little saxophone player dudes, the aliens to play. That's fantastic. That is, that is some good interior detail. I mean, I guess that's what that area would be, right? Up here, this little, be the, the saxophone playing area. This is, this is, this is S tier interior right there. That's fantastic, good job. Um, All right, with that, um, so I have a, a couple of plans here. Um. So I don't remember how big the default ones are. Let me um let me just do control new. 512, okay. That's what I set the default as. Um I thought I also hold on. 
Did I not do that? Um, preferences, defaults. No. Yeah, it should be defaults, right? Yeah, okay. Um, this. 1.19 or later. Okay, there we go. That's the default. Let me restart it and see if that changed things. Because I feel like every single time it's just made it 1.15 or whatever. Even though I'm pretty sure I changed that default last time I used this. Let's see if it does it this time. <laughs> yeah, I mean, basically, it's to get the, the new height limit. That. Um... Okay, so oop, oop, oop. references, defaults. Yeah, okay, good. Uh, 512 is plenty. Okay, so what we're looking at is down in this bottom little corner here. I know it's it's kind of hard to see. Um, you know what, let me, let me do this. Yeah, okay, so now they're up here. <laughs> um, but basically, these are the the custom sort of things that I've been making. Excuse me, making. Um, most of these are just. So actually, let me. Um, sorry, try not to block the camera too much. I need to find because it's on this. It's on. It's on my laptop, unfortunately. Um, that I saved the website. I didn't save it on this computer. Um, let me. So this one, I think, is. Quick first, just to firm, and then I'll. Because um, one of the sites that I used to use to make kite maps and stuff just doesn't work anymore. Um, so it's world v. Um. What? This one. Okay. There we go. Okay. So this one. This is what I I've been using to get height maps and stuff from basically any any part of the world. Um right now I'm making height maps. I'm I'm using height maps from both the world. Right now I'm actually going to be using ones from video games and stuff, but I'm sort of explaining how I've gotten ones you can get any any height map from anywhere in the world, literally, and just plug it into to World Painter for free. Um, and I will say, I, I will say, there is sort of a caveat because um, with World Painter, usually you want the you know the height maps to be you know have like this black area here and then a blank. But when you do stuff like this, obviously you get a square. So like, if I click on this this one up here that I made, and I do the the normal thing and I just do this little square obviously it's gonna be yeah square right there and uh, we can we can kind of look at that um, yeah I mean it'll it'll basically make a little ridge along that instead of doing uh, what a normal brush should do like I don't know uh, whatever this and we just shrink that down and yeah obviously that that's gonna be much more natural to blend into terrain but the point of doing these height maps is sort of to actually do something like this, where you go bigger than the actual thing you need, and then you just make the terrain off of it. Uh, but yeah, so let me actually, let me do that with this one so you can kind of see. Yeah, so like, there you go, bam, insta terrain, no problem. Yeah, that's sort of the point of using these chunks from um, specifically here. And let me actually, let me share this because I'll share it here and I'll try to remember to share it in the, the YouTube rewind or whatever. Replay, rewatch, <laughs> um, VOD. Anyway, anyway, uh, so yeah, basically this one, um, you just kind of get over the area and the area will be whatever this view is. It's not necessarily just, you know, where you select. Um, so, yeah, uh, the problem with this is is exporting it and stuff. Um, but what I found is basically you just turn this into dividing, and then you turn the scale to like point zero one or something like that, so that it's basically flat. And then you look at it straight top down, and then you take a screenshot of it. Bam, 
instant, easy uh, height map. And they work really well, actually. Uh, I've been using ones for some, some projects recently, actually, that are in here. Um, so now what I really want to do, because now that I've shown you all that, um, I need to find which one is... Uh, did I... Did it not add it properly? Hold on. Let me go to the brushes folder real quick. Um, custom... Nope, not materials. Whatever, it's fine. Brushes... Okay, so... Oh! Maybe I didn't actually put them in here? Hold on. Um... So, okay, this is one of the height maps, and this is basically the uh, the GTA height map, GTA 5. Um, I really, really want to try this because I still haven't actually used it. And I'm really excited to do this one. And then the other one that I had was the uh, the Breath of the Wild one, Breath uh, height map for that. Um, I think I've already tried that one. It didn't. I mean, it's it's cool, but like this, uh, I need to figure out how many how many meters. Uh, I guess uh, across is the best word. Is the is the GTA five map? Okay, eighty. Wait, what? Okay. So I'm looking at some posts from Reddit here. Um, no, that's too far. Area. Okay, so yeah, the X is what we're looking at. Uh, or the... We don't care about Y. I mean, I guess we kind of care about Y, but that's not really... Um... Max elevation is, yeah, that's, that's nuts. Um, map, okay. 12 kilometers, so the 12 by eight. Okay, so 12 kilometers is 12,000 blocks. Okay, that's, that's uh, a lot. Um, right now we're only at 500. Uh, I don't think I'm going to be able to do 12,000. That's going to be too much for the computer um, to make it one-to-one. -one. But we could probably do 6,000 uh, to try to make it at least a little bit realistic and see if I can do it. I'm not sure if the computer can handle it, though. Um, oops. I don't know what I meant to do. Okay. Um, so basically, we need to go to the defaults again, and we're going to have to restart it. So... Uh, this is what I need to change, and we're going to do 6,500 for the, the max brush size, basically, uh, so that I can scale it up to the size of the train I'm about to make. Uh, so we go control new. Uh, no, I don't want to save that. Thank you, though. Okay, GTA V. Uh, actually, wait, 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 cancel. I need to make sure the, the map is actually here. So that height map, I don't know where it went. Uh, hold on. Before I do anything, I need to put this brush in here. Um, so, got some brushes, folder, folder, folder. Um, and we'll put it in, yeah, this one. Okay, is it, oh, it's FNX, okay. So let me actually just change the name to this. GTA V, okay. And then I thought I put Breath of the Wild in here too. Not sure. Not that one. Um. Oh, there it is. Yeah, this one. Okay. So they are both. Still, well. B O T W. Okay. There we go. Uh, let's close that. Delete that. Um, I'm gonna re. Oh wait, no. So it, it should still technically be here, right? 
Let's make sure. Um, okay. So this is the GTA map. Okay. Um, I'm kind of scared that when I get to being this big, it's not going to look very good. But still, I just, I really, I really want to try it. Um, okay. Oops. Control new. No, I don't want to save it. And this time we want this map to be about 6,000 blocks across. So we can do basically like half scale. Oh my God, it's so massive. Okay, so um, push pull. Let's see if the brush can get this. Yeah, okay, good. Let's just go right kind of to the edges of it, like right there. And let me make sure I have the right thing. GTA, yep, okay. Here we go. Ah, okay. Read write errors occurred. Yep, it can't, it can't, it can't do it. Okay, dang it. Okay, let's see what size it can take. Close. Let's kind of shrink it down until it can do it. No, nope. really? Okay, there's gotta be some kind of solution to this. Really? Still no? Really? No way. Okay, so this is definitely something different because I should be able to do it at that small. That that's nothing. Um can't read input file. Oh, that's okay, hold on. Let me hold oh that's why yeah, I do need to restart it. I changed the name of it. That's why. I know why. It's fine. Okay. I have not been looking at chat at all. My bad. Okay. It's totally been a bunch of people chat. Um, okay, so uh, I think I still need to do this. Yeah, we need to make this 1000. Make this GTA V. And the rest should be good to go. Okay. So, again, push pull. Um, this one, oh, I didn't save the thing. That's okay. Okay, so this is GTA Five, right? Let me, yeah, GTA V. Okay. Now, zoom out a little bit. Do it. Okay, and we wait for the computer to catch up a little bit. Hopefully, hopefully this works. I don't know if this is going to be too big. We'll see. Oh, oh, wait, wait. Okay, okay. So something that will definitely help is doing the intensity at 100% so that it, it does things a little bit faster. And I'll just do a, a few clicks at a time here. Oh, something's starting to appear. I like that. This will be very, very interesting. It shouldn't take too many clicks, honestly, to get sorted to the we actually want um obviously i feel like with the way that world painter works you probably just need to trim off the bottom like chunk of blocks for it to actually be sort of accurate but yeah this is gonna be really cool very excited to see how this works this is one of the few ones i have not actually tried or tested and GTA has a lot of like square buildings and stuff, so that should be really, really interesting to see how this does those specifically. Um, yeah. It really looks noisy from this distance, but I don't think it's that that noisy. Honestly. When we when we actually get into it, it might not be. Let's see. Um Not sure how high I want to go with this. Excuse me. Um Might be might 
be pretty close already, honestly, but I think I think we do need at least a couple of layers of showing like height before we It is being very, very slow. But you can see it coming together. Very slowly, but surely. <laughs> Hmm. Really start to see those little tiny islands coming together. Definitely can start to see a lot of the city starting to sparkle. I doubt you guys can see that fine the detail. But like the city is really sparkling more than the rest. I'm not actually sure if we're even more than like 10 blocks or so. Not I'm also not sure if holding the the click down is helping at all <laughs> or doing anything at all. Going to I'm going to spam click real quick. We're going to see if the computer can catch up. I think a physical click is is more meaningful to this massive of a thing than a, like a holding a click. Even though usually you should be able to hold the click. I don't think it's working. Wow, that is so so grainy looking. I feel like it's not going to work because World Painter brushes are only so high resolution. I think it's only like 600 or 600. 600 by 600, the max resolution that it can use. Pretty sure. Maybe it's changed. Maybe it's updated. I won't. I don't know. Okay. Uh, you know what? The easiest way to see how high we are is to do this. <gasps> Ooh, heck yeah, look at that. My God, this is gonna be so cool. Okay. Auto saving. Okay. Uh, yeah, let's just export right here. Uh, I really wanna see what this looks like. 119 saves, um, let me go to this. Let's make sure this is just stone and stuff because the default is not right now. Stone. Resources off. Okay, export. Whoa, that looks surprisingly good. Yeah, I'm really excited to see this in game actually. This is about half the size of the actual GTA map, because I, I read it was, or I read, uh, let me see. I, I, I don't know where I put it, but the, the thing said about 12,000, and I assume that's the long way across, and we're doing about 6,000 uh, from, from here to here, so. Half scale. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like it shouldn't be this hard for the, I mean, I guess it is a big map, but it's all stone. Like it's, it's not trying to do anything complicated here. It's literally just exporting the height map. Not trying to put trees in or anything crazy. It's just a giant ass map. Awesome. Imagine a giant ass map like this, but with all of that stuff, how long that would take. Hmm. Juicy. Hmm. I realized my computer was still in front of my face, sorry. Um, oh my god, this is taking way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I'm gonna lie. Holy crap. Really? Why do you have to calculate lighting and leaf dis- Like, just- There are none, just- It should be zero times zero. 
Why is it calculating all this other shit? There's nothing there but stone! Wait, like, why? Just be like, oh, it's stone. Now everything else is zero times zero. Don't need to calculate it. Got it. Like, or not zero times zero, because I guess it, that break. But like, why can't you just make everything else just just null? You know? <laughs> am, I, am I crazy? Or should this not be taking this long for something this big? I mean, like, I get that it's big, but like, it's literally just stone. And I made sure to turn off resources and caves and all that other shit. Like... What, what, what are you doing, world painter? Come on. <laughs> Math isn't that hard. Come on. <laughs> no, but it is, it is a little bit confusing, actually, why this is taking so long. Like, this is only a 6,000 wide map. Maybe I accidentally put something in here. There's, there's no other... I swear I've done things this big before. It didn't take this long. Oh no. I feel like I'm lagging now. Computer's having a hard time with this. Shit. Is it really this hard for it? Okay. <laughs> Fantastic. Well, while we're waiting for this, <laughs> I have been playing a lot more uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Oh man, I'm oh, I'm enjoying the shit out of this game. It's so fun. Um man. Yeah, straight up it is definitely a step up from Breath of the Wild and that is saying something considering I've only played like I don't know, 5 hours or so of it. Like I've gotten down to the surface now, finally. That's all I've done. I finally beat the the quote-unquote sky plateau, I guess now. Um and I have all the, the, the default abilities or whatever. Oh no. Okay, lag spike again. Really, why is this taking so long? Imagine if I had put resources and caves in this. Holy shit. Um. Anyway. Uh, I guess I should have, I should have defaulted down to zero. By the way, I, I, it is trying to add like probably, I don't know. 100 blocks or so under the height map that I already made, so I guess that is part of it, but still, it's all stone. It's just a circle of stone, or a, a cylinder of stone with the height map on top. All stone. Solid stone. I don't know why that took so fucking long. <laughs> okay. I am going to actually save this, though. Um, let's go, yeah, desktop for sure. Let's see how long it takes to save it. <laughs> oh wow, it took fucking three seconds. Great. Love it. Um Okay, where where is it now? What? Did I hold on. Uh where did I save it? No 1.19 saves. That should be in here then, right? Wait. Um, open the folder real quick. Uh, Minecraft saves. Um, did I wait? No, it should be called GTA V. Where the hell is it? Are you kidding me? It's doing it in 1.19 Minecraft saves. Is that? Oh, no, no, no. Okay, 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 okay. Okay. It, it is in the wrong folder. I am a dumbass. It's fine. <laughs> um, okay. So, no, no. GTA V. Got it. Let's copy that. Actually, let's just drag that right there real quick. I do not want it in this anyway. Um... Then we gotta go to the regular Minecraft. That's where my forge is. Um, we could just drag that in here. Not in a folder, please. Thank you. 
Done. Done. Single player. Nice. Finally. Here we go. The moment of truth. <laughs> About. Oh my god. All right. Uh, let's go. Badoom. Nope. Wrong button. Nope. Still wrong button. Okay. Imagine if I had just died there. That would have been very funny. Okay. So. Um. Holy shit. <laughs> this is a massive map. Okay. So I'm just trying to figure out like what's what. This definitely looks like it's supposed to be the um thing up to the top of the mountain. The like cable car thing. Um Unless I'm mistaken. Maybe that it maybe that wasn't. Okay. Oh, I love the bridge. Okay, this is the cool part. Ooh. Ooh. That's so cool. Like straight up though. You can you can see like where the roads are and stuff and the bridges and like you, you clearly could just, you know, dig out the bridges and just what? I am honestly a little little tiny bit surprised that there isn't like an extra divot in the middle of this because that's where like the this is the you know trench and it's it's got like a little water divot part but I guess the water isn't included in the the height map and that's just considered to be flat get all the the ba the high buildings maze bank or whatever it is oh my god I love this love it okay so technically yeah i think i think the the tall mountain definitely not quite the right amount of elevation right here this is meant to be going up like hard right now but the buildings are actually pretty accurate in terms of height i feel like scale wise uh they could probably be a little bit like two or three blocks higher so Maybe if we click a little bit more, it would be a little more accurate. But I still feel like this part over here isn't quite going up as it should. You know? And maybe maybe it just needs time. Maybe I just needed to click like 3,000 more times. But like this is supposed to be the, the high point of the map, I'm sure. Um, yeah, that definitely is. That's, that's, uh, whatever mountain it's called. I already forgot, but. Yeah, okay. Oh, uh, I can't turn my video settings up. Nope. Fantastic. Ooh, this is the, like, prison. That's cool. Um, find Trevor's house. Oh my god. Uh, okay, so that's the prison, and then we got, if I could find the airstrip, that would be, that would be the most relevant thing. So this should be the airstrip, right? This, this thing here? Uh, hold on, let me. Oh, no. No, there's no way, because, like, all this stuff out here is, like, not even houses and stuff. Okay. You have the prison, but like the prison, it should be like this way over over in this area, right? I think. Uh, maybe not. Maybe I need to go further. Maybe we need to go further out. Wait, wait, wait. So this this is this is the like. I said something earlier was the cable car thing, but like, I just, I need to get my, my bearings here. Cause like, yeah. Okay. Okay. Here's a challenge. All those GTA guesser assholes. Let's no, I'm just kidding. Not assholes. All those, all those GTA guessers. Let's just make a height map of the map and then see if they can do it. <laughs> like, where is this specific spot? And then they got to fly to it in Minecraft. <laughs> But yeah, like, like I said before, 
um in order to actually do this properly you'd basically have to cut off chunks of it and stuff for this to be accurate um because obviously there's not just cliffs going down um and yeah it doesn't really take into account the ocean height map as well uh okay so i'm getting i'm getting distracted so Trevor's house. I could. I feel like I could find Michael's house either easier than I could find Trevor's house because that's at least like in the city and stuff. Oh, look, that's that like crazy bridge right there, isn't it? Um, the story, the story bridge. Um. Mm, well, I'm already lost, so that's fantastic. Um, okay, that's like, uh, one of the gas station things, I think. There's no way I could do it with that. <laughs> There's no way. Oh, man. All right, you know what? Before I, before I get too crazy about it, let, let's, let's do Breath of the Wild. All right, um, all right, we, we know this works, uh, in concept, so let, let's do this. Um, I haven't... I've done Breath of the Wild, but I don't think I did it to scale at all when I did it. I did like a, a tiny version of it. I have no idea how big Breath of the Wild is. Breath of the Wild map is probably huge. How, oh, excuse me. How far across is meters? Fuck American units. I mean, what? Okay, 10k. So honestly, pretty pretty close to a, a perfect square. Mm, do I do half again, or do I try to just go for? I think half is probably the way to go. Uh, but this time we can at least do a square, so that's fun. Okay, man, new. So we'll do B O T W, and we'll do not a circular world and we'll do um i mean yeah i guess 5000 by 5000 cuz yeah it's 10k by 8k which is i mean we could do it so that it's closer to accurate but no matter what we're not going to be able to change the brush to be not a square so we might as well just do 5000 by 5000 um okay that's about half Okay, I guess 4,992 by 4,992. Fuck you, World Painter. I guess I can't do a fucking even number like 5,000. Dumb as hell. I really, I you genuinely cannot. It just, it says no, stop. You have to do these intervals. 5,000 is not one of them. Why, why is that? Can someone explain that to me? Why you can't do perfect, like, I guess it's perfect square kind of things. Is that it? Maybe it's perfect square intervals, but even still, why not just let me not make a perfect square and just do any number? I don't, I don't understand that. Um, anyway, world painter confuses me. So I need... Which one is it? Uh, New Mexico. Uh, Breath of the Wild. Got it. Okay, so Breath of the Wild is weirdly not even in the square, so I feel like... Oops. Let me click that and just see. Perhaps World Painter stores slash saves its stuff in squares of 128 by 128. That's probably it. Um... Undo that. Undo that. And author didn't bother to in bother with incomplete squares. Yeah, that that's probably fair. Um, I mean, I, I with all the other stuff that you can do with World Painter, that's um. Okay, undo that. All right, we need to go a little bit bigger. Let me click again. Make sure that that's actually in there. 
And then we could just spam click for a little while. This is gonna take a hot minute. Um, oh wait, crap, wait, crap. Um, I forgot. We gotta do this again. So let me actually just do command new. No, I don't wanna save it. Um, so this time I want, so I still need to go 5,000, whatever. So, um, yeah, I need to start this at zero. Because I want it to be there. And then water level uh, zero. Okay, there we go. So now this time we're actually starting at zero rather than starting with like a giant chunk underneath the height map. And hopefully that'll at least help a little bit with the, the rendering time. Um, but yeah, okay. So I'll click that. This is the right size first, and then assuming it is, don't see any square on the border, so we'll just keep clicking. Um, by the way, I'm 1,000 million percent sure that this is how anybody who has ever put Minecraft Breath of the Wild into Minecraft did it. Um, not that that's a bad thing. I use the things that are easy. I'm just saying none of them admitted it, which is dumb as hell. Hey, this is That's all you got to do. Dumb. When people are like, nope, I didn't use anything. I did it all myself. I didn't use anybody else's things. I never touched anything but my own things. You're a fucking liar. <laughs> um, credit can go a long way is all I'm saying. You'd be really fucking surprised. Just saying either a name or a website or anything like that. This person helped me to make this. I didn't do it by myself. That's all it takes. Because 99.99% of the time, mm, people don't do it by themselves. And that point one, sure, cool, awesome, fantastic, they are good too. But credit exists for a reason. Well, people don't do it, unfortunately. Ah, the art world. <laughs> um, yeah. I know, I know I'm so salty about that, like, every time on my streams, but, like, I, I know, I feel like at this point, uh, I, I, I almost regret putting my, my god trees out for free. Like, the amount of people that just don't give a shit. It's, it's unfortunate. Really is. Be like, oh, I'm gonna trust people. <laughs> trust goes a long way. Clearly, uh, companies have shown that as well. They don't trust anyone. Just ask Google. Uh, gotta stop moving my mouse. It's not gonna help the height map. Just gotta click. Ah, oh. um. I don't know when I wrote this on on my I'm pretty sure I've said this before, but like sometimes this is a really random stupid thing. Sometimes taking your contacts off is just is like the equivalent like after like a really long day and I, this this obviously only applies to people who wear contacts, but like after a really long day 
taking your contacts off is like the equivalent of taking your socks socks off after a really long day. You know, you just say, oh, <clears throat> finally. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> I know it's weird, but, like, it's just, it's such a weird, like, specific thing, though. Like, there's no other, like, oh, kind of thing that I can think of, like, that is the equivalent of that. Like, taking your socks off and taking your contacts off. That's about it. Like, I mean, sometimes changing your clothes is, like, a nice, ah, but it's not quite on the, the like, oh, you know, you really just... Everything just drops and you're just, I'm good now. <laughs> uh. Yeah. Weird little things. From Pluto. <laughs> Alright, come on, Breath of the Wild. I want to get at least a little bit more up in this like I need um I could probably figure out what is the the max height of of breath of the wild map hmm it's looking like uh just above the the plus is the great plateau I think or no wait no just above the to the yeah just above the plus is the um where the tree is yeah pretty sure that's what that is okay we'll let it we'll let it catch up with the clicks that I've done and then we will maybe go to it. Um, I think I could see, yeah, is it loading down there at the bottom? Is that what that is? The, the one tiny green square? <sighs> I kind of wish there was a way to like freeze the, the brush so that you could actually move your mouse without moving the brush. That would be very helpful. Like, genuinely, you could want to, you know, paint with the, the same height map and stuff, too. Again, we'll let that catch up, and then we will export. I'm done with this already. I want to see this. I want to see what it's like. Uh, actually, I'll save it before I export it, of course, but... Um, should be pretty cool, honestly. Even if it's not quite the, the right height. Um, again, because I'm not patient enough to... <laughs> obviously do that. Um... Something that I am curious about is if some of the other games that I play have height maps and stuff that I can steal from. Okay. Let's just go ahead and export. So, Breath of the Wild. Again, I'm just going to make sure. Surface. Okay, one stone, just stone. Where are you? Stone, stone, stone. I really wish these were alphabetized instead of whatever they are. Mm. Okay. Let's hope this one doesn't take as long. <laughs> I 
it's going up. It's going up. Just slowly but surely. It it it's gonna take a hot minute. That's for sure. Oh no! Don't do! Don't touch it! Don't touchy! No touchy! Hmm. Okay. While that's doing that, I'm actually gonna do a quick little BRB. Bro solid. We're back and it's only halfway done. Fantastic. Love it. Um oh. <laughs> Who is the creator of, of World Painter actually? I don't know. I don't think I know that. Pepsoft.org, a one-man Java software. Okay, then just tell me their fucking name if it's made by one man, you dumbass Google. What? <laughs> tell me their name, Google. A Pepsoft. That's not English. No, that's not, that's not a name. That, what? Um, do, do, do I need to put name? Name of Why is this such difficult information to find out? Captain Chaos? Is that it? Okay. Captain Chaos. Okay. Um, I assume that's correct. Captain Chaos. Fantastic. Don't know who that is still. <laughs> In terms of, like, an actual name. Um. Huh. I mean, I could believe it. Literally, just clicking on their, uh... Whatever the whatever the hell this is, twit, this this thing. That's awesome. That's. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm That's fun. Okay. Uh, no idea what that that social media platform is, but yeah, awesome, awesome. Okay. Let's see what Breath of the Wild looks like. At least, probably a flattened Breath of the Wild, because let's be honest. Um, all 
Honestly, this took a lot longer just to do two of them than I thought it would. So I might end this here after we do this one. Ah, uh, crap. Of course. Nope. Gotta grab the one from here. Um. Oop. Breath of the Wild. Um. Older, thank you. Okay. Done, done, single player, Breath of the Wild. Oh, come on. Okay. Yeah, this is gonna be really bad. Um, ah, look, uh, a slime. It's just, just like a Breath of the Wild. Okay, so yeah, this, um, maybe this is the Great Plateau. I'm pretty sure this is a great plateau. Uh, hold on, let me turn on something. Mods, da da. Any map. Thank you. Okay. So, you guys can see that, right? Yes. Um. Now we can kind of see what I'm flying over a little bit more actually render so yeah i'm pretty sure that's the great plateau and then if we were to go across this big area which i'm guessing this is where we fight the big ganon uh then we got sort of the castle area i think right here um Okay. It'd be pretty easy to get the corners of the map with the like the mazes and the, the square chunks for that. Honestly, this is this is a lot more than I thought in terms of height that I had gotten. It still definitely needs more. Um high quality Minecraft cliffs. Yeah, honestly though. Like some of these are still pretty useful in terms of just terrain generation. So Yeah. Um, I mean, just this terrain in general is not that bad. Probably use this for something. Um, what's this? That's gotta be something specific in the game. Oh, that lag spike there, that was weird. Um, okay, let me, let me go to a corner real quick, because I, I want to see, like, where that, that maze is in the top corner. Should be a maze up here anyway, right? Yeah, I I guess wait, no. Not it's still where the heck are we? Okay. Still going up. Bigger map than I thought. Okay. Uh so this is like that open sort of cold area, I think. Here we go. There's the maze. Okay. Finally. Jeez. Okay, so this is a lot bigger than I thought it was. Shit. Um, honestly, pretty close to like width and stuff. You can tell that it's smaller, but like you could still do a pretty accurate maze with this scale. Look at that weird pattern going on. What what is this with the water? That's so weird, what? Huh. I don't know what that's about. <laughs> that's World Painter for you. Um, I didn't do that. Voronoi. Yeah, for real though. Yeah, your Voronoi pattern, but I don't know why that's happening. That's strange. Um, okay. Kind of fly around the perimeter a little bit and see what it looks like. Cause I mean, yeah, look at that. Look at this part right here. This is where the elephant goes. I'm pretty sure. Look at that. That's the elephant. 
this is the elephant. No, I'm just kidding. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is the lake where the elephant goes. But, like, these cliffs right here? This is solid. Like, not even bad at all. Put some water in here, you know? You know, you know? Just <laughs> but seriously, though, yeah, you're, you're right in that being some pretty solid caves and stuff. Um, so, if that's the elephant then the uh wait yeah okay so then i think this way should be other stuff so like the volcano should be over here right up in this corner i think uh <laughs> i might be wrong i have no idea where i am let me let me look at the World painter map that's gonna be easier so the volcano should be up over here great plateau should be like over this part right here then right oh man this is so difficult to figure out <laughs> navigation okay um No, wait, the top, this top corner should have the volcano. Top, northeast corner. So let's just go all the way north, go all the way east, and then kind of fly back down from there. Is this it? Is this supposed to be the volcano? Or do we still need to go further? No, this is, that looks like the waterfalls for the, the Zoro domain. And yeah, that's the elephant. Okay, so we're going the right way. <laughs> Hopefully. Um... No, that's the maze. Okay, and then... Go this way, and we get the volcano. Yeah, this is the volcano. Okay. Okay, here we go. Yeah, that definitely needs to be higher up, but still. Hey, that's not bad. Okay. Yeah, that definitely, there definitely needs to be more, more height in this, but I mean, obviously I'm not going to spend three hours clicking. Um, but I mean, obviously some people have because I am a thousand percent sure that this exists already. Um, let me find it really quick. I'm pretty sure I have. Uh, liked it stuff minecraft but um eh? i mean search diamonds breath of the wild search Breath of the Wild. There we go. Um, no. OTW. No. Okay. Hold on. Search that. And apps best bam okay we'll just look at this here uh so I basically just I just searched Breath of the Wild maps um I mean this one definitely looks sort of like that um open link do okay let's see this one by arc tangent okay nice um where's the one yeah the, uh, that one's obviously straight up what i just used um okay so there theirs is a little bit more accurate to at least the uh the environments and the height though so that's fun 
But yeah, you can see clearly this is actually pretty good for just regular terrain as a height map. Um, I want to see just really quick before we end if I can find a height map real quick. Um, you know what? I'll just... Um, um, Okay. Oh, that's cool. Ooh. Morrowind. Okay. Okay, I mean, I I'm just throwing this out there as a as a big a big win for people. Um, if you didn't know, there's a lot of games that have height maps that people have have uh, released to the wild, and I would highly, highly, highly recommend going and looking for some if you have a favorite game that you think might be kind of cool to put the terrain into Minecraft. Um, I have not played Morrowind, nor do I know anything about Morrowind, so I will not be doing that today, but here you go. Let me, I'll, uh, I'll throw that in the chat if you, you're curious. Um, awesome. Awesome. Anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll be, I mean, I was looking for Assassin's Creed, but this is just as good. Uh, and that it sort of proves my point in the, the entirety of the stream in that you can get hype maps from anywhere, from anything. You can get hype maps from the world. You can get hype maps from games. You can get hype maps from everything. And it's amazing. It's it's powerful and it's, it's, it's beautiful and you should be doing it. I have literally done hype maps from AI generation. Some of them have been... Well, rather shit. Let's not let's let's be honest. AI is is not good at terrain height maps. Um, at least I haven't found the specific wordings uh, to use. But I'm sure someone will. And there are many options. Is all I'm saying. Just figure it out. Go try things. Go test things. Go search for things. World Painter is powerful as shit. And so is World Machine, but, I mean, World Painter's free. World Machine technically isn't. Yeah. With that, I think that's where we're going to end it today. Uh, I'm pretty happy with it. And yeah, I hope, I hope this helps people as per usual, and I hope this helps people to learn things with all the Minecraft stuff. Anyway, with that... Thank you all for watching. I am sure you know how the buttons work down there by now. Do click them as you please. Do it.